filling up the gas tank of the school bus is an expensive proposition these days, but eventually it might be a thing of the past at some school districts. That's because electric buses are on the way. They've ordered two electric buses that should be delivered soon in the Wakanda School District. The idea, of course, is that you're going to save on your gas budget, though, right? <laughs> That's the goal, yes, absolutely, yeah. Saving on diesel, especially with diesel going, you know, so high lately. With two buses, we'll have a good opportunity to try this out, and we'll see the success. The Lion Bus Company has opened up a manufacturing facility near Joliet to build electric school buses. They'll be capable of going more than 100 to 150 miles without having to recharge the battery and that battery charges in about eight hours. But perhaps most importantly, it will make carbon exhaust fumes a thing of the past. It means jobs and beautiful looking buses, but it's also part of a genuine effort by the United States and our friends around the world to move this global planet into a much better place than it is today. The federal government is also offering $1 billion in grants as incentives for schools to buy these buses. Barrington School District is putting up a charging station for the bus they've ordered. It's about three times the cost of a standard diesel bus, but with the grant money they've received, it'll be about the same. We want to see how it works for us. Uh, we put it through our paces here. New buses last an average of about 10 years in this district. They expect to have the first electric bus delivered by mid-November, hook it up to this power station. Assuming things go well, they plan to order more in the very near future. In Barrington, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.